Hello everybody and welcome back to the 22nd episode of my Pokemon Sun completely blind at this point Nuzlocke experience. If you missed it over the last two episodes we managed to lose Perry the French Donkey, um, our Herdier whose name escapes my mind at the moment, uh, Poliwhirl, Ditto, and I feel like there was one more. We've lost a lot of Pokemon, it's been a tough go of it, but we also managed to beat, uh, get the Electri Electrium Z and beat the Electricity Trial, and we also caught a Komala, who I need to update you on, but first, I was on Route 11, I decided I'm going to fight all the trainers on Route 11, and do just a little bit of training off screen. One of the trainers had a Hariyama, which would have been a problem if my whole team wasn't flying, and it didn't just use Whirlwind the whole time, so I kind of got lucky there. The other trainer had a Stuffle, Stuffle, the garbage Pokemon, in both design and abilities. So just, if, if everybody's maybe one level higher, you'll know why. And I walked into this lady, who looks like she's going to say something important to me because it stopped, I didn't actually talk to her. So I decided to start the episode here. So we are on Route 11 and we are headed towards Route 12 in a trial with Sophie. So let's go. Greetings trial goer, let me check your collection of Z crystals. Oh, look at that blinding yellow Electrium Z. Now I guess I'll open the gate for you. Cool. I thought we might have had to do something before that, so this is actually quite nice. Route 12. Hopefully we'll have an encounter here. And judging by the fact that I can see grass with this weird horizon view, looks good. Greetings, Rob. It's Hapu, the tiny girl who I give a very deep voice to. Well met, I was seeking you. If you're going to travel about Ula Ula, you ought to do it well astride of Mudsdale. There's no call for hesitation. Consider my thanks for the Akala Island. Uh, yay, a Mudsdale. Just re reminding me that Perry died. <laughs> it's fine. No big deal. <laughs> that could have been mine. Could have been riding my own. If you seek the next trial, go straight out. Go straight on through here to Tapu Village. I'll be cheering for you on the Island Challenge. All right, tiny girl, sounds good. Really long loading screen. Bzz, I gotta admit, friends, I do love a good Mudsdale, says our Pokedex. I am the one known as a Kahuna on Route 12. If you hope to battle me, beat everybody else. Can do. See those rocks? He was a Mudsdale. That's what he's gonna say, right? This is as rough a path as you can find, but a Mudsdale's gallop will get you right through. Told ya. It's almost like this game's made for 12-year-olds. And I'm 26! Alright, that's... It gallops adorably, I'll give you that. Burn Heal's not bad, we might need that, who knows. And I believe I have Komala in the front of the party, right? I do! I also need to update you guys. Yuka, I gave Brick Break, so it has fighting coverage, and Work Up because it knew Flail and Rapid Spin. Rapid Spin, I doubt people will be laying traps very often on us. And Brick Break gives me good coverage and then flail is way too dangerous so work up is just another move it could learn maybe one day we'll need it to buff who knows but let's get our route 12 encounter here can we get one with a Munsdale? maybe not we can so this will be our official route 12 encounter and it's a mud bray oh <laughs> it's so cute um, we already have a Mudbray, so I'm just gonna run away and call Dupes Claws. We killed our Mudbray. We don't get to just get a new one, that's not fair, so let's see what else is here. On our official Route 12 encounter. And it's an Alolan Geodude. Okay. And I'm not going to forget this time to use a quick ball and hopefully get out of here nice and fast used at the start of a wild encounter okay go quick ball please just catch so i don't have to deal with this crazy battle thing let's go no need for status moves no need for geo dude exploding in my face which i didn't even think about until right now just pure catching and experience we get the electric rock type geodude very weird and i also should probably check those typings while we're here because i don't actually know what it's good against 
Where's my website? Where's my type checker? Oh. It's the first tab. Electric Rock. Why don't you check out just what kind of Pokemon it is? It's the Rock Pokemon. Its body is a magnetic stone iron sand attaches firmly to the portions of its body that are particularly magnetic. So it doesn't have hair. It has iron sand. And it is four times weak to ground, two times weak to fighting water and grass. Resists normal poison fire, electric, and flying. Okay. I'm a little worried that it's four times weak to ground since everybody knows ground. It's weak to fighting and ground, which are two very prominent things. But it gives us electric typing and rock typing that we don't have. And I'm going to name him... I'll name him Dabrow. Because I like to think that those things are like, yeah, look at his eyebrows. I mean, come on, <laughs> Dabrow. We can check him out too. Hopefully he has a good nature, Dabrow. What you got, girl? He knows Thunder Punch already, which is excellent. And Self-Destruct, which I am about to go teach any TM over. And he has an attack Boosting nature, special defense, reducing. Not a huge deal because he already has terrible special defense. And he'll hit harder and he should evolve in a level. I think. What can he learn other than... He learned rock to him. Did he have a rock move? It would be nice to have a stab move. Oh, he knew Smackdown. I don't actually know how good SmackDown is, but I don't need Stealth Rock, or do I? Hmm. Let me check out the strength of SmackDown real quick, and it is probably good because then I can use it against flying types. SmackDown is 50 power, but more accurate than Rock Tomb, and it knocks flying types to the ground, but I don't actually have any ground moves. Let's go back to the bag. He can learn... I was hoping he could learn Smart Strike. He can learn Volt Switch. And he can learn Gyro Ball. So Steel Coverage is nice. And I'm actually going to leave Stealth Rock because I feel like... That wouldn't be a bad first play against some of these Pokemon. I do not need self-destruct. I do not need to accidentally blow myself up. But electric coverage, steel coverage, and rock coverage is not bad. So let's keep a moving. Oh, good. <laughs> a weak train of blames losses on his or her Pokemon. The weather in Alola is too nice, so uh, you get why I want to get rowdy, right? That's a weird... Correlation. Punk pair. Oh, I thought this was Team Skull. This is just, what, Team Skull's rival gang? Has a Pancham and a Crocorock. I have Yuka and $500 bill, y'all. Okay, interesting. Intimidate's nice. Fighting should be good against both of them. But at the same time, don't know how good. I'm going to go with a Brick Break on Crocorock. And I will go with a... Does Leer hit both? I'm going to go with a Leer. <laughs> a very scary looking Gyarados. Leering at me menacingly. Well, that's good. Gyarados pretty much wore that crunch, which is nice. Brick Break... Did I latte? Let's go! The koala's a beast! Let's go! I need this kind of like quick battle Pokemon. I've had a lot of like grind it out Pokemon. And they both target the stronger Gyarados, which is nice. Brick Break should still be super effective on Pancham, because or it might be neutral, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna go with the tackle. Andy Brick Break, I'm assuming two hits will KO. Although that didn't do as much as I would like. Okay, one more turn for him. Vital throw.
Ladle throw almost KO'd me. Tackle's 100 accuracy in this game, so I don't have anything to worry about as far as missing goes. He said, hoping he remembered the accuracy correctly of tackle in this game. All right. Pancham goes down despite scaring me quite a bit. And Yuko's level goes up, which is quite nice. 67 attack. $500 build does not go up in level. He's very close, though. So bad! No way! It's cool with me, bad dude that I am, so let's go again. Wait, you want to fight again? Hello? I'm a punk guy. I'd be a punk to give up. Okay, dude. Let's heal. One for you. And one for you. I just played Pokemon Yellow where my Gyarados had Leech Seed, which was super funny because it was randomized TMs. I have, they're going to make me get off Mudsdale to get into this little area. Dumb. It's a trainer back here. Ooh, oh, she saw me. What good eyes she has. It's important for Pokemon to be cute and strong. Yeah, you said it, girl. Challenged by Rising Star Leilani. Ooh, a very Hawaiian name. Has a Tortuga, which is an unevolved water type. Water rock type? Because it's a fossil Pokemon? So this should be super effective. Come on, Uka, Yuka. Ah! Not great. And it knows a rock move, but that shouldn't be too strong. Yeah, that's fine. I'm assuming that's really all it knows. Crunch. That did way more, but we're still gonna KO. So the level disparity is really showing up here because Yuka has taken some hits. I don't know why Crunch did that much more. Maybe, is Ancient Power a special move? $500. Dollar Bill wants to learn Twister. I mean, it's Dragon Coverage. Has a flinch chance. Uh, dra uh, if I ever need Dragon Coverage, what's Dragon good against? Just Dragon? Dragon is just good against... Yeah, it's only good against Dragon. So Dragon's not super great coverage, but it's better than Splash. And I guess I'm going to have to heal up. So Yuka by nature, by the fact that he has such a low defense and relatively low HP, it's probably going to be a lot of healing going on. But there's going to be some times where we one-hit KOs people, and we'll see what else we could have gotten on Route 12. We could have gotten a Torkoal, which would have been wicked cool. We could use more fire coverage, and if it has Drought, which it does, it has Drought, that could superpower his fire moves. And anyone else's, I'm going to run away. Very scary. I wish it was a Torkoal. That would have been... That would have been nice. Two Torkoals in a row. What are my odds? That stinks. Drought. Going to run away again. I don't have a very great matchup for that, so... We're gonna keep running. Geothermal Power Plant and Route 13. Where am I... Which one am I supposed to go to? Does anyone remember? It's another Geodude! I'm going to run from! <laughs> I only want to take trainer battles because uh, my whole team is weak against Rock. So I really don't want to fight that Geodude. I could probably fight that guy, but... Let's try this way instead. Geodude! I'm a little worried that I won't be able to run away one of these times, but it's going well so far. Hey, are you a trainer? Lots of people drop things when, they, when, when they're when they making their way through Ula Ula's secluded shore. You should have Stalin try to search for stuff. Dope. This is secluded shore. And it doesn't say Route 12 dash secluded shore. It just says secluded shore, which means I'm counting this as a new encounter. We're going fishing. All the slowpoke in this beach are managed to are managed and protected by the Alola region. So I can't catch you, but I want it. Okay. 
Oh, well, I guess this is our encounter, and it's a Crabrawler. Oh, cool. I'm down with that. A fighting water type? Or just maybe straight water? Or maybe straight fighting? I don't actually know. Either way, we gotta switch out. Go... Noctua. If he's water fighting, then Noctua would naturally be the opposition, correct? I wonder if he'll be good. Power-up punch is a super valuable move. Even though I resist it aggressively. I'm gonna use a regular old pluck here. Maybe not KO. Or immediately KO. So much for him being a fighting type. Whoops. Dang it. Alright. Let's well, stinks, because that would have been a welcome addition to the team, I guess. I guess he was pretty weak. <laughs> the Lepa Berry. Where's Stoutland? Stoutland, do you smell anything? No. Where could it be? Are you... Is this a joke? Like... A pearl! Ooh, money. Money, 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 money. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. Oh. Oh. What you smell, boy? What you smell? It's a pearl! People just go around flopping pearls. What's up, trainer? Come here. Let's do something good with our Pokemon. <laughs> what you got, girl? Oh, dang. She wasn't wearing a bikini, was she? <laughs> Did she take off her jacket like... It's time to party. Alamola. Is, is that how you say that? Alamo... Uh, Alo... Alomomola. I'm not gonna get that one down. Go Noctua. Because it's clearly a water type. It's a fish. Wake up slap. That's a fighting type move, right? Go with Razor Leaf. How does it slap me? It's a fish. It has no hands. That didn't do a lot. Let's go with Bloom Doom and see if it does more. And it protected. Does Z moves go through protect? Anybody know? Do they do half damage against Protect? It looks like they do like some sort of reduced damage from Protect. Okay, I guess it's just gonna be a longer battle than I expected. God, Noctua, you need to evolve. Stop using Protect. It's so dumb. That was my favorite thing about Pokemon Sword. If you play the um the expansion the fighting pokemon that you get can attack through protects which is amazing it just makes all these stupid playthrough things go by a little bit faster and weirdly enough i don't need to learn fury attack no would fury attack hit all five times oh i'm so dumb because a skill link, Fury Attack would hit all five times. I'm thinking about how garbage of a move that is for most people, but for Snaz, that would be stabbed five times. When we go to the move relearner, it's gonna be dope. Decidueye, you look less cool than I expected. Very stealthy. Ooh. Oh, he looks very different in that thing. Hot diggity, look at you, you're on fire, partner. That's funny. The Arrow Quill Pokemon. It fires arrow quills from its wings with such precision they can pierce a pebble at distances over a hundred yards. That might actually be a bad evolution because now I'm weak to ghost. And we're about to go on the ghost trial. Spirit Shackle. Sure. I don't know. Is it good? 80 power. User attacks with simultaneously stitching the target shadow to the ground to prevent it from... From escaping huh well it's a physical move I'm gonna get rid of work up because I'll take I'd rather have type coverage than have the ability to buff I don't think buffing will be too much of a thing anymore now that we're at higher levels I should be able to just switch to a Pokemon with a good type matchup but we'll see the good news is, I kind of clicked quickly through, but it looks like Noctua got a big stat boost. 
So it's a very balanced Pokemon, surprisingly defensive. It sucks that its attack is reduced because I didn't know that it would learn all attacking moves, so that's a bummer. But it is very balanced, which is not bad. Smell something, boy? What's that? It's a big pearl! Not only is it a pearl, it's a big one! And this is a Zygarde cube, right? Cool. Alright, carry on. Cena wants to talk to you! Zzz. You've collected 10% of the Zygarde cubes. If you'd like to know what this number means, please come to the Aether base on Route 16. You're getting warmer! Okay. Cool. Let's keep hauling booty! Oh, this is Route 13, sorry. I, I saw the route thing check pop up, and I just wanted to check what route we were on. And Route 13 is a city? Oh, he Rob! Oh, that's not his voice. Haha, <laughs> Rob! I heard the news from Sophocles. You helped him out with testing Dakine? Yeah? That totem column machine or whatever? I guess I was test subject number two, but I managed to get through the trial. Maybe you managed to be get a bit stronger. Here, Rob, I want you to take this. Obtained the Max Potion. Cool. Why isn't my mouse working? Defensively, Grass Ghost is weak to a latte. <laughs> you only have one volume, don't you? Haven't you ever heard of the expression that silence is golden? Ah, he's back! Listen, Team Skull is looking for Pokemon called Cosmog. Do you two know anything? What? No, not that we tell you. So you do know something. Look, Cosmog isn't even a strong Pokemon. It has the potential to summon Pokemon so terrifyingly strong that you don't even know. If something like that happened, it would be a disaster for Alola. A disaster? Like a real disaster? They were supposed to... What are we supposed to do about it? Protect it. If you do know where Cosmog, Cosmog is, or if you do find anything out, just keep it safe. I know it might be working for Team Skull right now, so you may not trust me or care, but I'm, about, I'm going to tell you this for just once. You have to protect Cosmog. Good thing we gave it to that preteen girl that's freaking out. I still don't even consider new how Team... Jeez. Oh, I still don't even understand how Team Skull found out about Cosmog in the first place. Ha, what do you mean? No matter what? You're just gonna leave us hanging? <laughs> Rob, if you're really looking for Cosmog then, is Lily gonna be okay? I don't really get what's going on, but we just gotta keep them safe, right? I know what I'm gonna do. Take on the next trial so I can get even stronger. Cool. I want to make sure more and more people can have fun battling to see who wins or loses. Rob, let's both try to become real champions. No. Duh. Bro. Alright, let's see what people got inside here. Oh, it's a, it's a full hotel. Get me free stuff. Anybody have a TM that I would like? It's a Stuffle. You have anything for me, Stuffle? Pew! Pew! Nebby! Oh, that's it. Kinda weird. Hey, guy riding a Mudsdale. Hi ho, Mudsdale away! I like to pretend that I'm like a hero when I used to love when I was a kid. Cool. Well, this is Route 13, so we should get another encounter here, and I probably won't kill it. Although, no guarantees. A Moonstone. Before I go and kill the next wild Pokemon, let me see if anybody can learn False Swipe. Just a Sidueye, but I don't want to get rid of anything, so... I guess not. What is that? Is that a Teddy Ursa? Or not Teddy Ursa. You guys know what I'm talking about. What's that thing called? Spinda. A Zygard cube. Or a Zygard thing. It's living in the desert like the hyena desert. Hy hyena desert that makes you appreciate the value of an oasis. And it's the weakness of different Pokemon that really make you appreciate different Pokemon. Cool. This is still Route 13. I could fish for my encounter. But, I don't know if I really want a water type. I already have Gyarados. Is that a bad guy? Hey, bad guy. Why, you got a problem, short stuff? I can stand guard even when I'm squatting. Okay. Whoa, it's the psychic monkey. I want this thing so bad. I've seen it twice already. Oh, I gotta pass the trial to get through, the, to get through here? Stop putting Pokemon that died right in front of me. It hurts. Greetings, trial go. I'm afraid the champion's barricade. So I definitely gotta go left. Shut up, Poliwhirl. Let's go! 
Is this still Route 13? It's Tapu Village. Okay. Well, I guess my only encounter is fishing on Route 13, so we'll do that. Maybe I can fish in the Oasis. I cannot. Can I surf here? I cannot. Hey, look, it's rocks. Let's get an encounter and not kill it this time. Nothing seems to be biting. Nothing seems to be biting. Okay, uh, take three. Nothing seems to be biting. Nothing seems to be biting. Did he say he fished up every Pokemon? I'm going to fish up every last water type Pokemon that lives in Alola. No. I thought maybe it would, it would be like, I just fished, I think I fished every Pokemon here. But I guess not. There's got to be one here, right? Got him. I hate the fact that you have to press A when the thing goes blink. So dumb. It's a Magikarp. We already have one of those. Well, now that I think about it, let me check and see. That's the Pokedex. That's not the right thing. No, I don't want to hear about my mission. I want to click on the map. Dang it. Now I'm fishing again. I don't want to fish. Map. Thank God. So does Route 13 go up here? It does. So I'm just going to wait on my Route 13 encounter. My Magikarp's Dupes Claws. I'll just go over to Tapu Village and maybe we'll get a Tapu Village encounter and then we can get 13 after the trial. Because I don't want to get another Magikarp for the next 52 turns. And I also don't want to get a crappy water Pokemon when I already have a Gyarados. Although backup wouldn't be bad. It's how Again! Remember that time earlier when I was like, why does this game introduce characters and then make you walk five feet to talk to the same character? Perfect example. Ha, <laughs> seems like you're almost to the Aether House, where the captain is supposed to be, huh? Hey look, construction workers! Ah, they must be what Kakui was talking about. So they're really making a Pokemon League up on top of Mount Lanakali, whatever that means. The professor told me that the Pokemon Leagues in other regions have four crazy strong trainers in them. They're called the Elite Four! Lead four, yes, I know, I've played them. Jeez. Ah, dang it. Let's get an encounter and get this episode over with. Ah, uh, oh, no TM guy? Get like 12 of those. That's all I need for now. Let's go use another Quick Ball and hopefully get a Pokemon before it actually does anything. Is this the trial? What does that sign say? Why isn't this like old Pokemon games where I can read the sign from the back? It's your thrifty Mega Mart. Perhaps we go shopping? This is Route 14. Okay, so we got a nice little grouping of encounters here potentially. Although I guess not since there's no... We're fighting this guy. Okay, I want rare Pokemon. I'll go anywhere due to my tenacity. All right, bro. Wow, he looks exactly like the voice I gave him. Toga Demura? The electric steel type? Which is hopefully weak against Brick Break? Although I'm gonna use Yan just in case. And I'm gonna switch out, because that did a ton of damage. My whole team is weak against Electric, except Decidueye now, who is no longer weak to Electric, which is actually quite nice. He now resists it. Quite the type change. Use Nuzzle. That paralyzes, like, all the time, right? Ugh. Is that 50% paralysis chance? It's a lot. But now he's asleep, and I can... I guess try my Spirit Shackle? See what Spirit Shackle does. See what it looks like, Spirit Shackle. Stitch his shadow to the earth. Very creepy. Very cool. I like that a lot. I would say that would be useful for catching wild Pokemon, but not many of them run away. And also, I don't know if I could use a full-fledged stab signature move on a Pokemon in the wild and not kill it. The brow grows to 29. I forgot you exist. Gabite. So for once, Twister's gonna come in handy. This is nice because not being a dragon type 
means that I can use dragon moves for super effective against dragon types, but I don't have to worry about getting super effective moves back on me. Although Dragon Rush is still a strong move if it knows that. Twister! Hopefully we outspeed and flinch. We do not, and it was takedown. Okay, that didn't do nearly as much as I thought it would. And I'm fine with him hurting himself. Twister! It's literally a twister. It's just the gust animation from the first nine generations. It's super effective, but that's all it does. I guess we'll stick with it for now. Boom! We just bought these super potions. We might as well use them. And he'll hurt himself if he uses another takedown, so that's nice. At least he doesn't know Dragon Rush. Should be able to KO with the next twist there. Especially if he uses a takedown. You know, Slash? How is he using takedown? It's like a little... Oh, come on! <sighs> he, he probably won't KO. But I've lost so many Pokemon recently that I'm not comfortable leaving him that low. Sandstorm's gone. It's raining again. We'll use Tackle. No. Yeah, he killed himself. That's fine. Despite that being an annoyingly hard battle, it did give me a ton of experience, which is nice. And we can see how far forward we can get. Natural Gift. What is that? User draws power to attack by using its held berry. Absolutely not. I want it to hold charcoal and boost fire moves. That's what I want. Oh yeah, I forgot. One level means that Geodude evolves into a Lolan Graveler, which is huge. Because a Graveler actually has a pretty good base stat total. And should hit very hard with its nature. Boom! Wah! I love Graveler. Alolan Graveler, eh. I feel like they could have made the gold look a little bit cooler. It looks kind of derpy. Like, it looks like they just stuck it on there. Like, he's got sprinkles on him. But he's still pretty cool. Registered! Uh, why don't you check out what kind of Pokemon it is? It's the rock Pokemon. It prefers... Its preferred food, food is Dravite. After it, was eat, after it has eaten this mineral, crystals form inside the Pokemon rising to the surface as part of its body. At least it gives an explanation for its appearance. Let's see what it's good at. It is 72 attack, which I believe leads the party. Yeah, leads evened Gyarados and Komala, and it knows Thunder Punch, a rock move, and a steel move. And it's pretty slow, so Gyro Ball should actually be pretty hard hitting. I'm actually going to put him in the front. Because as electric rock, he's two times weak to water. Kind of scary. Because that means he's four times weak in the rain. Or is it three times weak in the rain? I don't actually know. Abandoned sight of the thrifty Megamart. How doth one... Can I catch a Murkrow? Why can't I catch that? It's just sitting there. That's a trainer, right? I don't want to fight you. Look away, trainer. How do I... Oh, I can get up here. Ooh, sneaky. Max potion, but this just brings me back to where the Murkrows are? Oh, bummer. Okay, so the abandoned site is the location. Huh. Interesting. So that's the location for the trial. That's a guy. Hmm. All right. Well, I am going to... Wow, I went way over for time. My bad. So I'm going to slam the save button here. We still have an encounter in the, the little village that was right behind us. We have an encounter on Route 14. And I'm hoping inside the trial area will be a separate location so we'll get another encounter. Because then if you start adding up Kamala, Geodude, and some more encounters, we could actually have a very good team going forward. That being said, this episode already ran over, so I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.